So I have my finished sock tube ready to add my afterthought heel in. I've worked out where I want to do my heel and I want to do it this join here. So I'm going to mark the row that I'm going to take out. So it's going to be this first, this first dark blue. And I've marked here, I've worked out from the top here, followed this edge stitch all the way down to work and I've marked it to work out where I need to start my heel and I've just marked it on the row below. So what I want to do is I want to pick up this row below the marker, starting at this one. So what I'm gonna do is, when you see these Vs, you want to pick up the right hand leg of those Vs. So starting here, I'm going to pick up the right hand leg of every single stitch across this row until I have half my number of cast on. So in this situation, I need to pick up 32 stitches. So I picked up 32 stitches across this row. So that's one half of the heel stitches picked up. I now need to do the other half. So the row that's been marked, that one is the one I want to avoid. So I want to skip a row. So I want to skip this one here and I want to do exactly the same into this one here. So I'm now going to pick up 32 stitches on this row by picking up the right hand leg of each stitch until I have 32. So I've now picked up 32 stitches on both sides and now what I want to do is take out this row in between. If you're using Magic Loop, you can um, give yourself a bit of extra room and pull the needles through. So you can get to that stitch a bit easier. So now we have to do the scary bit, which is cutting the yarn. So if you make sure you cut into the, in the center here, so you've got long enough tails to sew in across. So I'm going to just make sure that I'm not catching anything but that one stitch. So I'm just going to cut that strand. Using a needle or something along those lines, slowly pull out the end on both sides. So you want to do it this way as well until you get to the edge here. So make sure you don't pull it out of the stitch that's still alive. So it should some look something like this when you're done. So you just want to get these ends out of the way. So just tuck them inside for now. You're ready to start knitting your heel. So following the instructions, join your new yarn and I will show you how to neaten up these joins here. So starting to knit your heels, make sure you've got your needles in a way so you can start knitting. So I've taken one of them out of the back. So I've got a free needle tip because I'm using Magic Loop, but if you're using a different technique, just use your spare needle. So I'm just gonna start knitting. So I've just finished knitting my first side. I'm now gonna pick up a couple of stitches in this gap. Now, because I've done a true afterthought heel, I've got a loose strand happening. So keep hold of that so it's a little bit uh, snugger. So I want to pick up two stitches here that's going to close up this gap. Sometimes it, it depends on your knitting, on where it's going to be neater for you. I'm going to pick up this strand and this one, and I'm going to knit those together with the working yarn. Or attempt to. So one thing is that once you've picked them up, have a look, see if there's any blatant holes and see what you want to, if they're happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna pick up the right leg of this stitch and the right leg of this stitch and I'm going to knit those together as if it was through the back loop. I 
to check how that's looking. I think that looks reasonable, there's no holes. So I'm back at the beginning again, so I want to pick up two stitches in this gap to close up any holes. So I'm going to go into this stitch here and I think that one there. And then I want to close this up, so I'm going to take one leg from there and one leg from there. And knit those together through the back, just the two. And I think that's closed up quite nicely. So I'm just going to carry on knitting my heel as per the instructions in the pattern.